How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be overclocking my Ryzen CPU. Now this is the first time I'm overclocking a CPU. In fact, I've already done it. I'm just doing this recording afterwards. Um, so I've recorded everything and I'm just going to show you what I did and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. Now, this is again my first time clocking. So I was a little bit hesitant and I kind of had an idea of what I'm doing, but I didn't think I would kind of get it, but whatever. I just got, I've got it. So basically the only reason i'm overclocking is when i went into the bios and i actually checked the voltage and everything i actually went there to change the fan speed of the cpu because it's the cpu stock cooler and the ryzen cpus is just way too loud it's noisy um so i went there and i turned down to silent but i checked the voltage on the cpu and it was 1.31 gigahertz and I'm using the Ryzen 3 1200 and um, that is a budget CPU, it's, it's uh, the cheapest one I think, um, but again it's still Ryzen, it doesn't matter much. Um, but I was a little disappointed because it was running at 1.31 volts and it was only giving me 3.1 gigahertz and didn't even, it doesn't have a max turbo speed or anything. It's just quad core, uh, 3.1 gigahertz uh, stock speed, and that's what it was giving me. Um, so I was a little disappointed, and I, you know, um, it's using so much power. Why isn't it giving me a lot of um, at, at least 3.9 gigahertz or something uh, at 3. Point, I mean 1.35 volts? I actually wanted to get it overclocked because uh, I didn't, I didn't like the clock speeds and all. So uh, I went ahead and looked at some um, forums and all that, and I just wanted to find out what kind of voltage everybody is using on an average and stuff for this CPU to get to 3.9 gigahertz. And everybody said it all, it all just depends on the CPU. Some have better silicon, the others don't. Now in this case, my CPU doesn't have a really good silicon, so I didn't, it, I wasn't able to get 3.9 gigahertz. Um, now also, I did also keep in mind that AMD only recommends to go a uh, maximum of uh, 1.35 volts. If you go above that, then it's not, safe or something they just recommend that as the maximum obviously you can go above that but you don't want to really do that um and also on top of that the cooler that i'm using is the stock cooler so you'll also need to keep a, a eye on the temperatures and stuff like that uh, above 75 is a little too hot but it's all right um so let me show you what i've done so i went into the bios and i wanted to do it from the bios not the ryzen master because uh, I think it's better in going into the BIOS. It's I don't like the OS controlling the stuff and stuff. It kind of seems a little flimsy and uh, something can go wrong just with a little click and stuff like that. While it is easier to do in the Ryzen Master, I think I wanted to go into the BIOS. And so in this um, video, what I'm using, um, the motherboard I'm using is the uh, Gigabyte AB350M Gaming 3, uh, which has got a 350 chipset. Um, so it's not 370 and 470s out now, which will get in the future. Uh, but I'm using the um, mid-range uh, for the gaming community. So I'm using that chipset. I'm using that exact motherboard. So if you go into the BIOS settings, um, you'll find that it's really simplified. It doesn't tell you a lot about it. The instruction booklet is kind of flimsy. I mean, it doesn't really give you uh, tell you how to do anything. It just tells you what you're looking at, but it doesn't really tell you how you actually control it and stuff like that. So... I, I had a little trouble finding out how to change the voltage. Now changing the frequencies was easy enough. You just type uh, type in 39, I mean 39, and it'll automatically jump to 3.9 gigahertz. That's what it's going to recognize. But if you go into the advanced voltage settings, uh, what you'll find in there is that you have three settings. One is dynamic VCO, the other one is dy uh, dynamic VCO SOC, and then there's DRAM voltage, which is the RAM. I've just pulled it up right now, and it's running at 1.32 volts. 3.1 gigahertz and that is just complete bs so you want to get um a higher frequency out of the cpu now what well, these three options um is, is uh, a little bit confusing just because of the middle one over there the soc is basically something I, i'm not sure if it's the vrms or something like that but nobody you shouldn't really touch that and i heard somewhere you should go maximum to 1.2 volts anything above that will probably fry something on the board so uh, we don't even want to touch that we want to touch the one on the top the v core and it's on auto and there is no way to adjust it. if you use the arrow keys it's going to jump around in the menus pressing enter isn't going to do nothing backspace is just going to rub out the word auto and then you can type in random numbers press enter and it does it just goes back to auto it doesn't let you adjust it so i i spent about 10 minutes and I actually figured out how you adjust it now if you look at the keyboard you have two other keys and that, that's page open page down so you use those keys to adjust the um offset it doesn't allow you to just put in the voltage that you want you have to do an offset and i didn't know what the uh, default voltage is first just to be on the safe side actually or just for the fun of it 
I decreased it to minus 0.3 volts. So that's going to cut off 0.3 volts off the CPU, which is about 1 volts altogether um, from the stock speed, what I'm looking at. So basically, I think CPUs don't even run at that voltage. Anyways, so I did that and I restarted it and it didn't even boot up. It just gave me an error. And again, I was reaching for 3.9 gigahertz and it all depends on the CPU silicon that you have. So that was a bit stupid. Um, but anyways, I went to, to about plus 0.8 five i believe something like that um but basically of all this testing and i did trial and error i did try different different voltages and stuff like that on 3.9 gigahertz uh i think two times i was able to get it booted up but it would instantly crash and it just wouldn't even move forward and i didn't want to go above 1.35 volts so i had to drop down the frequency because basically i can't reach 3.9 gigahertz on this silicon it's not the best quality so 3.8 gigahertz was the next um, target now i was able to get uh, booted up uh, at 1.35 volts uh, and it was running fine but 1.34 or 1.33 volts it ran for about 20-ish minutes or so and then it crashed when i actually used the uh, cpu at 3.8 gigahertz uh, 1.31 volts which is lower than 3.3 it actually ran for a lot longer than it did with the higher voltage so it's a bit funny it just i guess chance has a play in this um so don't know about that but basically i went all the way up to 1.35 giga uh, volts and at that it didn't really it, it still crashed after about 30 minutes or so on benchmarking obviously with the prime 95 so 3.8 gigahertz was not good now it was getting close to where it would be stable so i just dropped it down to a uh, three point uh, 75 and you type that in by writing 37.5 and then it's gonna type that in uh, which is a bit stupid but it works or whatever um, and the voltage I increased from zero again uh, in little by little to kind of see where it was stable now 3.75 is obviously a huge increase from 3.1 gigahertz but if you look at the numbers the 3.75 and 3.9 the way that the numbers look it looks like 3.9 is on a whole new league but it's not it's only 150 megahertz down which isn't all that much of a jump really so now let's go ahead and check out uh 3.75 gigahertz and again you do the same thing you go from a lower voltage higher and higher until it's kind of stable i run benchmarks on it obviously and a 1.31 gigahertz kind of crashed on 10 minutes and then a 1.32 gigahertz it was a lot better um, but I think 1.33 gigahertz, it jumps up to 1.33 in CPU Z when you're looking at the voltage. Uh, but I have put it to 1.32, I think. Um, and it stays around 1.32 volts most of the time. But the difference here is now, uh, compared to the default settings, is that the voltage is kind of similar. It's just a little bit higher. But the frequency is not 3.1 gigahertz, it's 3.75, which is a lot higher. So you're not spending... A lot more electricity is kind of similar but you're getting a lot more out of the cpu so after running benchmarks and stuff like that i landed on the stable voltage for me which is 3.75 gigahertz it just wouldn't go up to 3.8 if you wanted to stay below 1.35 volts which is recommended by amd obviously um so with all of these other tests i've been doing it goes to about 76 on 3.8 gigahertz um, 76 degrees on the temperatures um, so I think I wanted to even just drop it down a little bit anyways so what I did was um, 1.32 volts which is a uh, lot lower than 1.33 logically speaking and the CPU frequency is at 3.75 gigahertz so just a little bit lower but what I got was a really stable system I ran the benchmark for 40 minutes no crashes nothing like that um, but I, that's just because I didn't have time. Normally, you meant to run them for about one hour just to kind of see how long it would last until it crashes. And it didn't freeze at all. And while running the benchmark, this is a bad thing to do, but I was doing other things like moving files over and stuff, which, okay, it, it doesn't really matter much because it didn't crash. At the end, the result was basically 3.75 gigahertz at 1.32 volts, which is not really good, I guess, but it's all right, it's not bad in it. Now, I'm not gonna show you any benchmarks or anything because I didn't do any of them, uh, and I'm pretty sure nobody really wants to see them because the new CPUs are out and stuff like that. So you can go check those out instead. Uh, I don't think anybody really interested in um, the Ryzen 3 1200 at the moment. Um, so um yeah basically i've got it to 3.75 gigahertz at 1.32 um, volts now i did use ryzen master to actually check the temperatures and 
uh, when I was benchmarking it, it hovered around 73, which is fine. It did jump up to like 75s, but it quickly dropped down at times. I don't know why it does that, but it kind of hovers around 73. So that's all right. For me, it's all right. I'm not going to use the CPU for a long time anyways. I'm going to kind of swap it out for a different one in the future very soon. So, um, yeah, leave the video here. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in another video.